Hi everyone and welcome to a series of videos for people interested in getting hands-on with Data Cloud. My name's Dave Norris and I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce. We're going to be continuing the journey to help a fictitious hotel chain called Coral Cloud Resorts make the most of their customer data. In the last video, we ingested and mapped the data we needed. And in this video, we're going to create a unified profile for guests. So let's get started. For this video, we'll be using the identity resolution capability in Data Cloud. But before we get started in the tooling, let's recap on the last video to help discuss what identity resolution is solving for. So here's a diagram showing Service Cloud in the top left, Amazon in the bottom left, and Data Cloud on the right hand side. If we create a guest record called Sofia Rodriguez, and we create her in both of the data sources, what we've ended up doing is ingesting Sophia's record into their corresponding data lake objects and then mapping them to the customer 360 data model into the individual object. Now for brevity, I've omitted the contact point data model objects, but no, they follow the same principles we're discussing. What we've ended up with is two records in the individual object corresponding to the same person. Amazon used guest ID as the primary key, and Service Cloud used record ID for the contact. We can use the tooling in Data Cloud to take a closer look. Navigating to Data Explorer, we can start querying objects in our data lake house. So we're gonna select the individual data model object. We'll edit the columns we wanna display And then we'll add a filter. We'll add a basic filter on last name equals Rodriguez. What we can clearly see are that there are two records, one corresponding to the Salesforce contact record using the record ID as the primary key, and one corresponding to Amazon S3 using guest ID as the primary key. Given the goals Coral Cloud Resorts have, namely to create a holistic picture of guests, this is problematic. This is where identity resolution can help. Identity resolution lets us create a job, and that job consists of matching rules. So let's create a matching rule that looks for first name, last name, and emails that match. And we can set reconciliation rules if there's a conflict between two systems wanting to update a record, who takes precedence? Is it based on the system? or perhaps something like when it was last updated. As an input to the job, it's gonna read records from the individual data model object. And as an output, if it finds matches based on first name, last name, and email, it will create a unified individual. So it creates a new data model object and it'll stamp a unified individual ID against Sophia in this example. In order to link this object back to the individual, it also creates a link object. And that simply connects the primary key from the individual object to the unified individual ID for Sophia's unified profile. Now note in this example, we're matching on first name, last name, and email, but the rules are flexible. So you can change them to meet your requirements. Okay, so let's move into Data Cloud and have a look at how we set up this identity resolution job. So we'll navigate to the Identity Resolutions tab and create a new Identity Resolution record. We'll select Individual and set our rule set ID as Coral Coast ID. Since we're matching our name and email, we'll call our rule set Guest Name and Email. Disable Jobs Running Automatically, we'll kick that off at the end and save our rule set. Now this will take few seconds to save. And then we get our identity resolution record created. Now we can configure the match rules. We'll configure based on fuzzy name and normalized email. 
and it's already given us the match rule criteria, matching on first name, last name, and email with differing match methods we can choose to update. We're going to leave the defaults and click Save. Once the rule set status changes to published, we can then run our rule set. Now, based on the sample data size we're using for this example, our job's going to take about 15 minutes to run. So I'm going to come back when the job's completed. So my job took about five minutes to run. You can see that the last job status is succeeded. And we can see a summary of the job. We ingested 992 contacts from Service Cloud and 939 guest records from Amazon S3. Of those records, you can see that 49% were found to match based on the matching rules we configured for name and email. We can also now query across the unified data model objects. So to do that, let's open Query Editor to explore the objects. Here, I've set up an SQL query that shows you what identity resolution has enabled for us. I'm going to overlay the data model very quickly to show you that we're querying the individual data model object and we're joining to the unified link individual using the individual ID. And then we've just joined to the unified individual data model object using the unified individual ID. By joining these three key tables together, we're going to see that I can either use the guest ID from Amazon S3 or the Salesforce contact record ID from Service Cloud to retrieve the unified profile for a guest. First of all, let's run this query substituting in the Salesforce contact ID from Service Cloud. When we run it, we can see the data source is Salesforce. We have the 18 character record ID. It's for Sofia Rodriguez. And here is the unified ID returned. Let's run it again. Instead of the record ID from Salesforce, let's substitute in the guest ID that Amazon S3 uses for a guest. We run the same query. We're still getting Sofia Rodriguez, but now the data source is different. The individual ID is different, but it still maps back to the same unified ID as before. And that's identity resolution in a nutshell. It creates unified profiles for people and businesses. And with the foundation in place, Coral Cloud Resort can now start looking for insights. In the next video, we're going to use the reservations data and the newly created unified profile to create some new business insights. If you want to get hands on with Data Cloud, check out the link I've provided below. If you like videos like this, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Salesforce Developer YouTube channel for more content like this one. Thanks for watching.